Welcome, Waffle Wolfettes. So we are back with the brilliant Destroy All Humans 2 reprobed on the PlayStation 5. And we are playing through this game on Conqueror difficulty. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now, in a previous video, we got quite a few things done. First things first, we spoke to Pox and he told us about Ark Voodle, who is the god of the Furon Empire. And he told me that if I can get enough people, build up a cult following to worship Ark Voodle, then eventually Ark Voodle will return. So that's something we are currently working towards. Uh, we then had to go to a KGB island and find out how they planned on blowing up Bay City. So we managed to get the plans, we managed to stop all of the bombs, and now Pox has told me that he detected a new Majestic, aka KGB agent's base in England. So it's now time for us to go to a brand new area, which we are not going to be doing just yet. And we also hopped into our UFO and we did a little bit of upgrading to our telekinesis ability so we can now uh, pick up objects and throw them a lot more powerfully and do more damage. So we've got quite a few things done in the previous video. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to head over to the Hippie Park. We're going to have to activate one of the Ark Voodoo um, landing zones so we can bring our UFO over. And there's also going to be a cult mission over there where we're going to start building up our own cult following by just basically going to different groups of people and trying to persuade them to stop following what they're currently following and follow Ark Voodoo instead. That's basically what these cult missions are. And there's always random funny objectives for you to do as always because this game is quality content, boys and girls, quality content. And I also changed Crypto to a hippie in the previous video, as you can see, <laughs> with a couple of bongs for jetpacks. Oh, I love it. I love it. Love this game so much. I've always loved Destroy Humans. Probably one of the uh, only games that I'm extreme, other than Crash Bandicoot, that I'm extremely happy that they remade. So bloody happy. I just hope they do Path of the Furon, the third game that was on PS3. And then maybe they'll make a brand new one. As long as they can get the right voice actor for Crypto, and they can also um, keep up with the humour, and not make it too politically correct, because some of the things they say in this game wouldn't fly nowadays, but hopefully they can keep it in the right vein of what the originals are, then the number four could be great. All right, we're gonna to speak to Ark Voodle first, and we're gonna do this uh, mission. I think we've, we've only got to destroy these signs, I think, and then we're gonna to need to get a costume, a hippie costume, to go and speak to the uh, cult people, because they won't speak to Crypto just yet. <laughs> The desecration of this land offends mine all-seeing eye. Read the vicinity of human-made refuse. Thus spake Ark Voodoo. When my uh, ship gets here, I'm going to do a bit of upgrading as well. Well done. Yes, I think you're wrong. <laughs> that was the that was the softest throw in the world. Bloody hell. I grab thee some serious swag. Landing zone activated. Lovely. Okay, right. Gonna go to the Pox Mart. Yeah, we've got quite a few things. So I'm gonna fully upgrade, well, try to fully upgrade my Zapomatic. To up for this one, you need the uh the advanced tech. Not the uh, green one, you need the blue one. Lovely. And I've not got enough DNA to upgrade anything else. <laughs> but I think we also... Have I done my shield yet? Oh, man, I should have done my shield. Why have I not fully upgraded my shield yet? What a maniac. We're playing on the very hard mode, and I've not even bloody upgraded my shield fully yet. I'm a fucking psychopath, Wolf Morphets. I, I don't even blame you if you don't subscribe. <laughs> okay, right, well, we're going to use all of the uh, DNA we get from the next cult missions to upgrade crypto shields. I think I need a hippie costume. Yep. What's going on, man? Flip up the flippies. <laughs> the fly peas. Hey, man, what can I do you for? Ask about the fly peas, flippies activities. So, uh, what's going on here? Are you guys some kind of gang? No, we're a movement. Bug off, man. The Free Love Youth Party is invitation only. 
Get me? Oh, you're the Flippies. Yeah, I heard about you. Uh, who's in charge of this free love party? Rainbow Honeysuckle. But dream on, man. Look at her over by the hedge. What a fox. Now beat it, will ya? We got free love to plan. That's a pretty uh, fabulous name, ain't it? Rainbow Honeysuckle. <laughs> Perform a clean snatch on Rainbow. Oh. Oh, but there's tons of people around. A clean snatch is when you body snatch someone and no one sees. Oh, we're just going to have to... Well, hopefully I don't run out of um, energy with this current body. But we're going to have to wait for her to go somewhere where there ain't no one else. I don't know if she does. I don't even remember doing this off camera. I probably did. I'm just forgetting. <laughs> I play so many games, Wolf and Wolfettes, it's hard to keep up sometimes. Kim just dancing with himself over there. I don't think there's even any music playing. I think I hear any. That one over there might be a problem. Talk you down, somebody. Was that a clean snatch? Yes. <laughs> I had to fry him away. He wouldn't stop. He wouldn't stop checking her out. He was walking behind her to check her out. We all know what he was up to. Hello, I'm a beautiful girl. Hey, Rainbow. What's the buzz? Oh, no, it's going to have Crypto's voice now, isn't it? Greet the Flippies. Ah, uh, hey there, <laughs> fellow Flippies. What's, uh, what's going on? Everything, man. We've organized four lovings this week, two police raids, no arrests. <laughs> And the octogenarians for orgies want to co-sponsor the next one. Jesus. Talk about free love and arc voodle. You know, we could be doing a lot more to bring free love to the world. What do you mean? We're flippies. Free love is right there in the name. But we've only got 13 members. You ask me, we can't give this stuff away. Well... Everybody says they want free love, but nobody wants to commit. Which, uh, admittedly, is sort of the point. Hey, you know what would totally help sell this whole free love thing? Arc Voodle. Uh, what's an Arc Voodle? <laughs> uh, sell Arc Voodle as the head trip, spout new age drivel, I and mean, that might work. The great Ark Voodle has imbued me with special healing powers. Oh yeah? Like what? <laughs> Let's just say my spaceship can help you fly like never before, if you know what I mean. Are you like saying you're from space? Give them the straight dope. Blow their minds. What you see now is only a disguise. Prove yourselves worthy, and I may show myself in time. Whoa! Far out! Push the free love angle. You think you monkeys invented free love? Arkvoodle's the Larry Flint of space. Arkvoodle invented free love? Right on! Reveal your true alien form. Behold the son of Arkvoodle! <gasps> Far out, man! Far out! Count us in, yeah! Well, that was bloody easy. New cult in town. <laughs> Beware. <laughs> oh, lovely. Look at poor Rainbow on the floor with a right headache. Sweet!
Chat, look at all worshipping Ark Voodoo over there. Yeah, none of you saw anything, don't worry. Man, I see you at Montreal, Pop. What? What? Well, well, there you go, finally. Bloody hell, I was going to say, why is it provoking attacks? Everybody's forgotten who I am. Okay, right, so we've got our cult established and we've got a couple of members. Uh, those things over there, I think they might be artwork. Those red things. They're, they're another collectible. There's several collectibles in this game. Music, artwork, some other stuff as well. Right, let's have a look on the map. Uh, what do we want to do now? There's a odd job over there to do. And I think... Oh, there's another cult mission over there. I think we'll head over there. Because there's another one of the landing zones we can activate. And there is also another cult mission. I think this one right, might require a bit more effort. Possibly. That landing zone I think is a pain in the butt to do though. Because I think we might need to escort a certain couple of people to him. Like uh, with the uh, mind control ability where they follow you, we might have to bring a couple of people to him. And I'm pretty sure he's in the middle of the woods and there ain't nobody around. <laughs> but we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll get it done if we can. If not, we'll just go straight to the mission. I could probably dump this uh, outfit now. Oh, jit. Nearly got run over by the police. How many police cars there are? I suppose they probably have to with the amount of hippies hanging around doing crazy crap. Free your mind, man! Bloody hell, that reminds me of the uh, very, very, very old uh, content that the Yogg's cast used to make with um, uh, Shadow of Israfel for, from Minecraft, and they used to. Uh, used to have Simon doing the voice of Swampy, who was like a hippie. Oh, lovely. Uh, good times, man. I missed the old Yogg's cast when it was just Simon and Lewis. Maybe with Sips and Shin. I think Shin did something Norway. He ain't part of the group no more. But Sips and Shin, Simon and Lewis. And I guess, I guess Duncan. Back back in those days. Quality back then. Now it's just, nah, it's not the same no more. So it's a shame. Still good, but not the same. Yapping Bully. What do you want? <laughs> That's a bit flipping rude, isn't it? I mean, look at me. I'm like, literally, I'm, I'm a dude that's supposed to be bringing peace, but I shoot people. I'm a badass. Look at me. Look at that. Look at that moustache. Ask about his gang. So, are you guys a gang of some sort? The Yappies aren't a gang, man. We're enterprising young dudes who use muscle to get what we deserve. <laughs> In other words, you're a gang. Beat it, Square. I'm not a square. Cortex scan. Buff, bully Buff Boffman? Who the hell is Bully Boffman? <laughs> what have we got to locate him for? I mean, he didn't even... He never even... He never made any comment about somebody called Bully Boffman. So why the hell do we suddenly know who that is? Uh, Crypto's a genius. What is it with the freaking tofu? Suck up. They're only sitting around Bully's feet because they're too stoned to walk. Nickelton is so boxy. If only. Boy, it must look so weird. Did you ever say your name so many times in your head over and over that it loses all meaning and becomes pure nonsense syllables? Bully Boffman, Bully Boffman, Bully Boffman, Bully Boffman, Bully Boffman. Man. You didn't you see so anything. Clingy, man. Anybody get the number of that mothership? Okay. Talk to Warner B. Cool. <laughs> oh, what a flipping name. Warner B. Cool. Like, wanna be cool. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Lovely. I like how colourful everything is, though. Just all of the stuff that like you got bloody more revelade over there. I definitely didn't stop the production of that. That whole mission was a complete waste of time. But just the graffiti and the colourful stuff going on everywhere. The psychedelic stuff. So flipping beautiful, ain't it? 
lot of games lately just seem very dark and just depressing, but this is a very colourful and beautiful game. I like it. Yap for love, yap for peace, yappies yap without surcease. Yap for love, yap for peace, yappies yap without surcease. Catchy. <laughs> Look at the state of this guy. Get an update on the yappies. So, what have my fellow yappies been up to, man? Feeding the revolution, watching everyone else get whacked. Give them a new direction. Hey, guys, uh, what if I had an idea how to make our group uh, not suck? <laughs> Finally, people don't know what the yappies stand for, man. They think we're just thugs. So people have forgotten what the yappies are about, eh? Ask them to join Ark Voodle. Hey, I got an idea. How about we change our name? What do you mean, man? How about, hmm, the American Revolutionary Kindred Victims of Oppression, Defenders of Liberty and Equality? Ark Voodle? What kind of name is that? Funny you should ask. It just so happens to correspond to that of our new benefactor. Ark Voodoo is anti-war. I'm not sure if they care about that because they seem to be attacking people. Helps the poor. Is about sticking it to the man. I guess that's a good one. Ark Voodoo is about sticking it to the man. Stick it to the man with Ark Voodoo. He's as anti-establishment as it gets. What are you on, man? I want some. <laughs> Kiss their stinky hippie butts. The Yappies couldn't have made it this far without all of you. What difference does a name make? Wouldn't you rather have more resources to fight the good fight? Think you can do better? What have you ever done for the Yappies anyway? <laughs> Bamboozle their drug-addled minds. What have I done? What haven't I done? I'm the original activist. My alien god has been on this planet since the dawn of time, damn it. <laughs> oh yeah? Approve it. Reveal your true alien form. Behold! <laughs> yeah, like we haven't seen that before. What? <laughs> Are you nuts? Look at me. I'm an alien for crying out loud. Okay, man, you're an alien. But if you ain't got the spirit, you're no use. I've got spirit. I've got spirit up the wazoo. And I don't even know what a wazoo is. Then prove it. If you're so great, why don't you cover every rooftop in the city with minibuses? One goddamn miracle coming up. Ha! I knew you couldn't. Wait, what? Oh, this is rough. On the rooftops of mansions. Flowers in the army's oh, this is very, very rough. Well, we better do this Ark Voodle uh, statue over here so our saucer can appear here. Otherwise, we're going to have to run very far. Uh, to put the minibuses on the roof, you just got to be careful you don't chuck the minivan. And I always do it, and then it's mission failed. <laughs> Ark Voodoo requires slaves. Female slaves. Oh, female. There's a lot of people around this time. The Ark Voodoo is a bit of a filthy degenerate. He wants a bunch of ladies. Not even from the same species. This is like me getting it on with a girl dog. What's the matter with you, Ark Voodoo? Sort yourself out, mate. Is that a girl? Yep, that's a fine ass lady. You can shut up. Well done. These females are fly and off the hook. Landing zone activated. Okay. Right. Destroy police cars for an optional objective. Yep, 
Yeah, so what you want to do, when you, when you hold L2, just tap R1. Because then you pick them up and you hold them, and then you tap R1 again to drop them. If you, pick, if you tap R1 and keep it held, then you lob things, then you chuck it. You've got to remember that. You don't remember it, you're going to be screwed. <laughs> you're going to be screwed, Wolf of Warbets. So if I tap R1, watch. See, and I just drop it. Wherever well, I hold it, see? That's what you've got to remember in this game. It's very easy to forget things like that. Did I get it? There we go. Alright, lovely. Now we can focus on the uh, hippie bands. What a random objective. Tap it with R1. Tap it again. Lovely. Tap it. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Because if you throw it, you destroy the building and then it's obviously it's game over because you've destroyed one of the buildings. Just gonna heal up a little bit. There we go. Also, be careful you don't like, um, if you're, when you're holding the uh, hippie van, don't just like swing it around and like turn left and then bump into the side of the building. Because that will probably also break the building. And then you've got to do the whole bloody thing again. <laughs> Including destroying the uh, police cars again. So. Now, I see what I told you in the previous video, there's tons of police, policemen by that donut shop. But now there's suddenly there's loads there, but in the previous video we didn't see any. Panic then, I thought I thought I threw it. <laughs> you can't just flash up mission complete like that or panic. Oh lovely. Alright, we should have enough um oh no we haven't got enough yet. We got six and seven, so yeah, we ain't got enough to upgrade our shield yet. I think we need sixteen DNA or whatever they're called. Don't know why I keep calling them DNA, they're not DNA. <laughs> lovely. Oh, relax, it's just an alien. Bloody hell, you, you flipping hippies are stoned all the time. You must see aliens 24-7. Alright, uh, we've only got about five or so minutes left. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, go back to uh, doing some more of this gene blending. Because there's a few missions where it's good to be able to have extended uh, duration for the body snatch ability, so you can stay in control of them before it like starts to fade away and people notice that you're an alien and not a uh, civilian anymore. So we're gonna do that. We need to get 20 KGB agents. The problem with this bit is there probably won't be 20 KGB agents on that island. So you might have to uh, fly away and come back when they appear again. But we're gonna track this one. And we're gonna enter the cockpit. <laughs> and then we're gonna switch over to the splurge master. And we're going to gather up some stuff. And then this will upgrade the body snatch ability where it increases the duration before it fades. And it might be 20 actually. But this is where you get KGB agents on the island. I mean, we've got 11 and there's already none left. Actually, I suppose, I don't know if this will work, but if you shoot this building... 
thought maybe a bunch of them would run out. I need to find something to absorb. Where's the... Oh, we got it. Okay. Right, nobody's appearing at the moment, so we'll just we'll just uh, start sucking up some of the soldiers instead. soldiers done uh, then we can head over to the donut shop and we can probably find a lot of policemen there although didn't work out like that in the previous video maybe I should do this at the end of every video just like abduct, ab abduct a bunch of people well it depends on what mission I'm doing where's the donut shop there it is oh it's already on fire why is it on fire Look at the state of the island. Oh shit, a flipping tank. Come on, policemen, get out of your cars. There's another Ark Voodoo mission over here. I think. Oh no, that's an odd job. No, not a. Uh, oh god, I'm nearly dead. A oh, flipping hippie shooting at me now. Everyone's shooting at me. How many more cops? Five more. Four more. It's very awkward flying this bloody saucer. I'll tell you that, Wolf Morbets, it is very awkward. <laughs> oh, okay, we're done. Right, let's have a look if any KGB agents have appeared. There would, there should be KGB agents around the street as well, but they don't, they don't seem to appear very often. This is the only place I know you can get the KGB agents. There might be somewhere else as well, I'm not sure. So we just have to fly around and look for a bunch of uh, dudes in black suits. Just look around for the little orange dots. Bloody hell. Yeah, we might have to we might have to jump out of the ship and then wait till the next video and then we'll go back over to the island and they should respawn again. Maybe. I had to do the same thing off camera. But off camera I managed to get like 19 and then there was one extra random guy over it. <laughs> so I managed to finish it. Maybe if I break this. Oh no, there they are, they're all coming out now. You have to nearly break it then. Alright, that's how you do it. Okay, so if you shoot the building lots until it's nearly broken and everyone comes running out. That's how you do it. I thought you only had to set it on fire. Okay. Right, we'll park over here, do the upgrade, and then I'll have to end it for today. I'm getting pretty low on space on my computer, so I've got to be very careful with uh, going past 30 minutes at the moment. And I'm not going to get my bloody external hard drive delivered until uh, Friday, and this is Monday. I'm recording this on the... 3rd of October. So I've got to wait a week because of the stuff involving Royal Mail with the strikes and that. It's kind of set everything back. 
So now I'm going to get my bloody delivery late. <laughs> and I needed it, like, literally at the weekend, but, oh, well, never mind. Okay, blend. There you go. Slow host decay reduces the decay rate of the human host and strengthens its resilience to damage by inserting microscopic jade ovoids into the skeletal molecule, molecular structure. Lovely. <laughs> so also it takes less damage when you're like jumping from higher distances and stuff like that. So it's very good to have this. And then we've also got this one as well for the free love ability. So the uh, targets will dance for longer, which is also pretty good as well. And hippies, cops and soldiers, they're all easy to get. So maybe we'll do that in the next video. But anyway, thanks for watching, Wolf. Well, that's hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, next time, we'll probably do a few odd jobs. There might be some more cult stuff to do. And then in a the video after that, we're probably going to head over to Merry Old England, where it's probably going to be raining and it's going to depress me even more than usual. <laughs> All I've got to do is look out my window to see that. I don't want to see it in a game. But anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Like, share, and join the pack today.